prepare yourselves. You may close your eyes if you wish and be relaxed, receptive. Your librarian and your angel are with you. So relax your mind, relax your ears, open your imagination so that they may join you and speak with you if you so wish. We as a group are connected or we are connected with each other through our hearts our imagination and through earth beneath us and the library above us. What you may do is feel the power of earth beneath you. Earth has tremendous forces of energy. It is a living cell of great complexity with every element represented. Inside your planet are seeds and frequencies from many dimensions and places. You are a living, connected, library yourself, your planet is. Planet Earth, while three-dimensional, has lines of energy that connect you to every dimension. Every race of beings is connected and stitched into your planet. When you stand with your feet upon your earth and invite the full power of the planet to connect with you, you are also inviting all time and all dimensions, all races and beings to flow through earth and connect with you. Invite this powerful energy of your living planet that is connected with all spaces and beings to rise up through your body and fill you so you may be a truly a living representative of your planet. Imagine that you are one with your earth. You are an earth being, an earth god in human form. Invite the earth energy to rise up through you and up through your head, up to your soul. Rise up, up, and you see above you the library where we live is connected for we have connected. Allow your earth energy to rise up through you up to the Akashic Library where we absorb it and send it through to many books. Many books are absorbing your earth energy and they become powered. You may imagine earth energy with you as a conduit rising up through the great hall of the Akashic Library and then flying and flowing through the library, 
filling the books with the power of earth energy. And you will see each book absorbs energy that is unique and specific for that book. So they become powered with the harmonic resonance of your planet. This energy, you see there's really no difference between Earth and library, for both are connected to everywhere, except the library is the scribed experience, the research, and Earth is the active experience. You live it here, you read it there. In the library, we watch and record. On Earth, you experiment. But truly, they are two sides of the same process. From the library, which is connected to everything, we invite you to take our hands, reach out your hands so that your angel and your librarian may take your hands and you fly with us. Fly with us through time and space and reality. This may appear to you like you are flying through a portal, or it may appear like you are flying through a universe. However it appears is appropriate for your energetic resonance, but allow yourself to receive support from your angel and librarian and fly, fly up through time and space, through your lifeline, from the moment you were created by source. The moment you were created by the pure love of source, we began to document your existence. Your story began. You can open your book all the way to the beginning. It will take you on this path on this path to your first moment when you separated from the light of source and became individual for the first time. Allow yourself to fall back into your memory, your first memory of your first moment. Once there was only the light of love. This is the most pure of anything. Pure light, pure love, there's nothing else. The energy of this pure love is always flowing, always flowing with love. So pure, so bright. It becomes so intense, so pure, so much love that it becomes dense little elements. You were born from the purest, most intense, most sincere drop of love from source 
so much love you took form and were pushed out you were belched out into the cone of inception where you were a being of pure love with your first moment of sweet self-awareness of individual consciousness and you knew how special this was that once you were only a flicker a frequency of love within a great morass and now there was so much love you are an individual surrounded by others that are so much love they also are individuals together you are together individuals but in a group it is very comfortable each spark of love has a unique song when you're a young spark this song is similar to everyone else just a little note of singing one tiny note but it is from pure love so it is beautiful as you sing the energy pulls you through your cone the more you mature and the more you learn to harmonize with each other the more you gradually move from the base of this cone towards closer to the edge never fear you are always protected and from here you can see when you are in the base of the cone all you see is pure love on one side and sweet friends around you as you move through this cone your sense your identity of self increases and your friendship your rapport with others becomes more sophisticated as you create new notes and sing in harmony with each other but still love pure love pure just joyous love until you have evolved to the point where you become aware of what is outside of your precious space it is an exciting moment the first time you look out and you see you see everything but it is not overwhelming because the energy of your love connects with one place or one group or one frequency it is so pure and so natural such a a family calling it is a very exciting time when you realize all this love that you are surrounded with there is even more out there more adventure more love more family and they wish to nurture you they come and they welcome you they meet you they invite you to go with them and be one with their soul family sing your song of love feel it harmonize with you feel how everyone in your cone has a sweet perfect unique tone and together it is the harmony of creation this is so beautiful the only thing more beautiful is when others who sing your note invite you to come with them and learn new subtle harmonic songs feel in your body in your mind about your time as this little spark 
who became mature enough to join with a group, a race, a collective, and then you got to come home to be with your group, your collective, your race, your species, your dimension, a place that is so perfect for you, you feel how this is your home. For some of you, you are human and you see how brilliant and right humans are in their pure form. For others of you, you were someone else before you came to help with the humans. Allow yourselves to be claimed by whomever and wherever, however this is. Feel how you are connected with your new friends. You are still very young and immature. You are not yet a bright soul light. You are still a juvenile soul. You will need much caring and nurturing. You will need your place to stay with your friends who resonate the closest with you, those of you who connect with each other with great friendship, kinship, comfort, and your songs are compatible. You see other soul groups within your new family of other youthful souls that are singing different soul songs to the one you and your group but all together create a lovely harmony and are enjoyable enjoyable to share with each other you will sing to each other both in your group and your group to other groups you learn together. You learn your place within your overgroup, within your reality. You learn skills, you grow, you mature. If you are a human soul, you see how long you exist as a soul before you even think of incarnating into solid form. For we tell you, the solid life is only a small part of the human soul's existence. And if you are not human form, you see what interesting connection and experience you have. And then there is a reason why you have then moved on to be human. Either you are an emissary from your group, or you are here to help the humans, or this is lessons for you so that when you eventually return to your group, you have some experiences that will help with your overall maturation or self or your group. Either way, you are a being of beautiful energy, very bright and brilliant filled with love. Love is the first emotion. It is the one emotion that we 
all of us, no matter where or how, have in common. It is our common language. Your saying, love conquers all, truly means when you are one with love, you become connected to all, for that is our native tongue. Eventually, you plan your life on this planet. But before you can live on this planet, you spend time learning from others who are living. You sit in your beautiful classroom of love and you watch the humans who are in life. You watch them. You see the trials, the tribulations that each human experiences in life and you honor them for their courage to go from such beautiful light to such dense hardship. To become born as a human is an act of great faith and courage. Not everyone who is a soul of the human species incarnates in 3D life. Not everyone chooses to do this. You have many human souls who stay in the non-physical or they incarnate with other beings and then return. For those of you who incarnate and those of you who incarnate for long enough that you can be in a physical life and connect with your soul, understand this is a very powerful, powerful path you have chosen to be one to connect the dimensions within self is a path that only the most honorable may choose. There are many who come and they play on your plane. They play at games. They have battles. They love to play soldiers or different games. Those of you who have gone through that and then continue your studies, continue your research, continue your growth so that you understand that you are capable of being many dimensions in one dimension, three dimensions. Understand you are one to be valued. You have put much work into crafting yourself to become the magnificent being that you are in this moment. It is your right to appreciate yourself and to understand you have help, you have advice from us, from your soul, from your friends that are always happy to help you. But we challenge you. Now is the time for you to honor yourself for whom you truly are, not just for the few adventures that you have had in this shell of a physical body that you are using at this moment. We challenge you to extend your egoic perspective of self 
to the full egoic perspective of self, not just the small element you see yourself as in this life. You were born through the greatest energy of pure love. Love so pure it could not contain itself. It must become life. And that life was you and is you, no matter what form you are in at any time. You are the purest love plus adventure and experience. It is time for you to value yourself as such. We think at this moment it would be nice if each of you embraced yourselves and perhaps even say to yourself, I am love and I love myself. I am love. I love myself. I value myself. I am far greater than I had realized. And I look forward to exploring how great I am. I look forward to exploring how great I can even continue to be, for I am love. Value yourselves when you forget yourself. Remember, remember, you are an emissary of love. 